Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Clark Sports Cards. Today we've got a Bowman 2020 Platinum that just come out on the market. I uh, happened to stop by the um, local Walmart and there was actually a few of those in there. So I grabbed one. Surprisingly enough, these things are pretty darn expensive. Um, this is not the Mega Box. I guess it's just like a regular almost like a blaster I guess because it only has 23 cards inside but it does have one autograph um, so it says right there find two uh, I guess that's chartreuse parallels and one autograph inside so it has an auto and a couple parallels in it but only 23 cards and these things run I think it was $46 or $48 right around in there I can't remember exactly but um, pretty expensive for just uh, Bowman Platinum so there's supposed to be some good rookies in here. Um, we'll see. There's Andrew Vaughn right on the front there and a the Tatis on the back. A um, little bit of uh, information on the back side, but I mean, that's all it says. 23 cards, 23 cards, and pretty much it. So let's get ripping into this and see what it is. I'm excited to see um, what Bowman Platinum has in store for us this year. Always been a big Bowman collector i love the parallels love the inserts like the autos and the prospects so um, not as much in bowman platinum but we're going to see um i think bowman platinum is normally your retail product which i'm assuming they might make some hobbies as well but look there empty box one pack of cards that's it so all right that's supposed to be 23 cards in this i mean it's not very thick for 23 cards, so we'll see what we've got inside of it. And then you can make a decision if it's worth it. Well, I can tell you right off the start, that right there is worth it. Nothing better than to get a start with a Luis Robert. And see, these are the look of it. This almost looks like a, a darkened parallel or something. I don't know why, but that's the front. This is the back a little bit. Platinum batting moments. A little bit so but um, well that's our Luis Robert right there nice clean card it is packaged well at least and it's not damaged so glad on the first box to get a Luis Roberts I hadn't even checked the checklist on this probably should have but we're shooting from the hips here a little bit because I was curious to see what we got and there's my silver slugger slash MVP right there probably uh, Freddie Freeman this year nice not too many cards, so we'll take our time ripping this bad boy. Albert Puros right there. Front and back. So, I'd like to see a number car come out of this bad boy. We're just going to put Albert over to the side. We'll put Freddy up there until we get something better. A Jeff McNeil. Nice Jeff McNeil. We got another rookie right here of AJ Puck. Hoping he has a bounce back year next year. So he's a rookie, so he's going to get right there in the spotlight, right beside Roberts. So let's see if we can get something to take down Freddie Freeman. It's going to be pretty hard. I'm a Braves homer. So uh, Nolan Arnado. Eugenio Suarez. Okay. And look at there, baby. There's an Ozzy Albies. Platinum, so I already got two of my Braves guys right there from my PC. Like that. Win win already, right? Anthony Rindo. Nice. Got a Gavin Lux right there. That's definitely going to probably outdo Freddie Freeman just because he's a nice rookie. And we got something. No, that's probably just like dust or something. But these things really do put marks. You have to clean these things up once you start handling them a little bit. But Gavin Lux, not numbered, so we'll set that right in front of Freddie Freeman. All right, now this, I guess, are our um, hits or whatever on it. Um, chartreuse, I guess that's what they called them, I guess. But it's just a color variation on it, so that's that for Chris Sale. And then we've got a, who is this, Gross Mata, J.J. Gross. I don't know much about him, but I do know that got a nice little line right down the center of this bad boy and our auto is Peyton Burdick from Miami Peyton Burdick an outfielder 
Looks like it's a 308 batting average. Um, drafted by the Marlins, number third overall in 2019. So I don't know much about him, but yeah, I'll take that. Drafted number three, he's got to be pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll take that. That's going to probably go over A.J. Puck. We'll put him over A.J. Puck. And Ryan Zephyrjohn, something like that, I guess. Yeah, okay. Diamondbacks. <clears throat> Blake Walston. And we've got a Anthony uh, Pages. Nice. I wonder what this is right here. Top. I just noticed that top says like top 95. I don't know if you can see that. I wonder if that's kind of like the ranking or something like that. Let's see what it says here for Gavin Lux. Let's see if it's got anything on the back of that. No, don't. So it must be like a prospect ranking, I guess, on the back. Because Freddie Freeman don't have it. So, let's see what it says here about Peyton. This is top seven. You can see right there. Top seven. So, all right. So, maybe that's something a little on the back. But, Anthony Pages, I know they're high on that guy. I saw it anyway. So, we'll set him to the side. And, Kellenick. This is top 90. Jared Kellenick. And Alex Fado, and it says top 27. All right. Or maybe that's just, that could be the card number. Maybe I'm getting confused here because I don't see a card number anywhere on this. This guy's must be the card number, possibly. This is top 12, Ryan Garcia. Okay. And another Rodriguez right here. It's Julio Rodriguez, top 94. Um, Baltimore Rodriguez as well, Grayson Rodriguez, and the Diamondbacks Carroll, Corbin Carroll, top 79, and last one is Davis Wendell, top 24 is what it says, so I'm curious to see, I know he's not a rookie, so let's look at Freddie Freeman, it says 16 right there, I don't know if you can see it, but 16, and then of course this has got 12, Let's see what Lewis Roberts has. He has 28, 29 right there. So let's just check see if it's got a... AJ Puck is 45. And so this doesn't have a number anywhere. So that's got to be like a subset or something like that maybe because it's got platinum on the back. If you notice, look how the different view of them are. The uh, established players and the managers and then you got the minor leaguers. So I guess that would be how you would qualify them so our hits out of the box um none to say not a great box but we did get a, a lewis roberts so i guess that's a win right there got a nice peyton verdict right there uh, gavin lux freddie freeman aj puck i think that was some of our highlights out of it and we got a bunch of rookies out of this thing let's see here get all the base out of the way these are all the rookies it looks like because look at all the platinums in the back and the highest one was it says top 12 right here other than that one and this is Ryan Garcia so so a lot of prospects it seemed like it comes out of that sets so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve prospects out of 23 cards so and then you get your base and you got your auto there uh, so probably I would say one two three four five six seven eight nine roughly nine to ten it looks like base cards and then you get your a lot of your prospects that'll come out of there um so yeah uh is it worth the extra money i mean this box probably was just because i got the bluish roberts and the gavin luck and uh the verdict there but i don't know if it would be if you didn't get some of the hot rookies out of it would it actually be worth the amount of money especially in resale value so that's my opinion but either way i'm glad i got the cards um, I'll be posting a team break this coming Monday. Just check it out for Friday probably is when I'll post. Um, I'll probably be doing, I know a baseball, I don't know if I'll do a baseball and a football kind of up in the air yet, or I might just do two baseballs. I don't know, but I kind of like doing the football. It seemed like it grabbed a lot of interest last time. People enjoyed it. So we might do that. A couple cheap breaks. So either way, um, thanks for everybody for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to grow some uh, followers on the channel and everything like that. I'd like to get it to a thousand. That's the goal by the end of the year. Don't think it'll ever happen, but 
in the same aspect, I still like seeing the channel grow. So thanks a lot. Hit that subscribe button. Don't cost anything. Hit that bell icon so you'll get notified first of team breaks, pack wars, whatever that we might do on the channel. I go live every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll see you then. Y'all keep on ripping. Clark Sports Cards out.